Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. Um, it's been an interesting morning for me. So thank you all for your patience with the different start time this morning. Um, it's uh, It just was one of those mornings and realized that it would be easier with the appointments I had to do this from uh, work rather than from home this morning. So um, it's given me some time to uh, to think through some things. I don't know. I have been really absent from social media this last week, um, barely getting on a lot less than I had been and just feeling really overwhelmed with everything going on in the world with both the things going on nationally, uh, internationally, and then um, the eclipse and all the hubbub we had here in Oregon and just uh, really finding myself going, it's time to really sit and breathe and connect and find that place of, of really finding higher ground. That is what we've been talking about this last week. Pastor David talked about um, how to find that higher ground and looking for higher ground and going to higher ground. And if we think about it as a, as a rock climb or spiritual journey, we're always looking for that um, higher ground, that place where we are connected and can stay centered with the values of our faith. So I invite you in this moment to just um, settle in and to uh, go ahead and close or lower your eyes. Take a big breath in, let it out, and again, and let it out, and one last time. And as you allow your breathing just to return to its own natural rhythm, whatever that is for you, just ask you to take a moment to feel your feet on the floor, feel your body supported by the chair that you're in, or if you're sitting on the floor, feel that. And do what you can as you're breathing to just relax all parts of your body. Bring your attention and your awareness to your heart. And as you breathe in, imagine that you are breathing in God's love for you and that it is filling you up. And as you're breathing out, just imagine that you are breathing out God's love to the world, to yourself, to your community and family in the world. And if it helps, think of a color. Sometimes that helps, like see yourself filled up with blue or green or yellow it helps us see those places where we're stuck, where maybe there isn't love going and to focus our attention there. So once again, on your next in breath, just allow God's love to fill you up and then breathe it out. And if you're finding that it's hard to breathe out love, and just imagine someone you love and care about and just send it to them. And maybe it's a favorite pet. So we're just going to take a moment to just be in this space. Of breathing in love and breathing out God's love. Because in the end, love is what there is. Love is what will heal the world. It may sound a little trite, 
But when we start with our own selves, when we find those places in ourselves that we don't feel are lovable, and we're not allowing God's love in those places, And it's time for us to look at that, to heal that. Because as we heal the areas in ourselves that we can't love and that we don't love, as we heal those areas, then we are better able to be instruments of love in the world. If your mind is going off the way mine does when I just said those words, all these little voices starting, yeah, but, and no, and, but this part and that part, and you've done this and you've done that. Just think a part of you that reminds you of, of who you are, you know, of what's happened. Just thank it for sharing and let it go. Just imagine just floating away like a stream, like a boat on a stream or on a, on a river. Just allow it to float away with love. And then that's part that it revealed to you that still needs some love and healing. Send a little extra love to that place. It might be a thought about ourselves, a memory. You know, my main message for myself often is I'm not enough. So I'm taking some time in this moment to just send a little extra love to the part of me that doesn't feel enough, because I am enough. And in knowing that I'm enough, that God loves me, and I don't have to do anything and just be me and I am loved, that within that and knowing that, I am complete, I am whole, W-H-O-L-E, even if I feel like I have holes, H-O-L-E-S in me, I really am whole, W-H-O-L-E, in Christ, in God, I am whole and perfect and complete. So as much as you can breathe that in, as much as you can take that in, the healing of our communities and our nation and the world come from taking time to heal ourselves. And that allows us to have the empathy and the compassion for others in the world who are also trying to heal themselves. It is not an easy job, but it is the job we're called to do, to be love, to shine our light and our love in the way that God has given us to do that. So though at times you may feel less than, you may feel not enough, you may feel unworthy, unlovable, and broken. You may be in the pits of despair you may be feeling agitated by all that's going on in the world. Or maybe all that's going on in your life. And in the midst of all of that, God loves you. You are loved. You are perfect just as you are. You are whole, W-H-O-L-E. There is nothing missing from you, from the essence of you. 
You are complete. You are You are exactly who God needs you to be in this moment, and that is just being you. God wants you to shine your light as you. One more time, let's breathe in love together, God's love for us. Feel it filling us up and then breathe that out out into the world and our community. I was very much reminded this morning of St. Francis and the opportunity that like St. Francis, um, we have to be peace in the world to recognize the oneness in everything and everyone. And I thought it would be a good, it's not easy. It wasn't easy for St. Francis either. But I'd like to share the prayer of St. Francis with you just as a reminder and as our prayer, collective prayer as a community in being peace in the world. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is friction, union. Where there is error, truth. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, and to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. <sighs> Just take that in this morning. The version I read for you came from this book, St. Francis of Assisi, Brother of Creation. It's by Mirabai Starr. It's a beautiful little book full of all kinds of prayers and sayings and wisdom from St. Francis. May this week, may the rest of this week, you find your higher ground by remembering that you are loved, that God's love can flow through you, and that you are whole just as you are. And in being that and in healing ourselves, we can then be those instruments of peace out in the world. Have a beautiful week. Blessings.